Hello, traders. Well, exciting night over nice stock. Sword bond yields tumbled after October CPI out of the US showed an unexpected slowdown in inflation across the board. Core inflation dropping to its lowest level in two years, and that led to rates markets uh, dovishly repricing the Fed going forward with a zero percent chance of any more hikes being priced in, and actually some cuts from early next year starting to get priced in there. In the FX markets, the US dollar got absolutely hammered, uh, crashed lower by around over 1%, uh, dip below that 104 level on the dollar index, its lowest level since September and its biggest one day decline in a year. The next support level to the downside really in, the, in that uh, dollar index, I think would be the 50% the fib, uh, fib retracement and then uh, followed by the last swing lows of uh, around that 103 big figure there. The Aussie dollar um, had a, a, a big day, a big up day and a weak US dollar, positive risk sentiment. Uh, Aussie US moving to the top of its three month range there and testing that major resistance at 65. Uh, Aussie traders, there's wage price index uh, for Q3 released 11.30 AEDT. Uh, significant rise is expected from the Q2 reading. So we could see some more volatility in the Aussie after that. Uh, gold rallied very strongly as yields uh, and the US dollar tumbled. It continued its bounce there off that 200 day uh, moving average and that 38.2 fib support level which are strong strong technical support levels uh, gold now sitting around that 23.6 fib level which be a key one to watch today whether that acts as support or resistance to see uh, where gold will go in the near term and a, a very busy economic calendar today as well starting with that Aussie wage data, Chinese industrial production in the Asian session, followed by UK CPI and uh, more inflation reading out of the US, the PPI, which after the fireworks of last night's CPI, we will be uh, closely watched, I'm sure.